Hey everyone, this is Joel with Backroad Builds. If you're new to welding aluminum, let's take some time to talk about some of the items you're going to need to get started. The first thing you'll need is a machine. Today, I will be welding with the Hobart Multi-Handler 200. If you already own a machine, check in your owner's manual to make sure that it is capable of welding aluminum, or if you're just purchasing one, uh, you'll want to check the spec sheet and make sure that it's capable. After that, you'll want to pick up some shielding gas. Now, 100% argon is the most common shielding gas for welding aluminum. And then you'll also probably want to pick up a spool gun. The spool gun works really nice because you, you take either one of these smaller spools of wire, put it in the hub, and you're only traveling about six to seven inches until the wire is out here where the weld is. If you try to push this wire through your 10 foot or 12 foot gun on your, uh, standard, your standard MIG gun on your machine, what's going to happen is it'll wind up jamming up because this wire is very soft. Now, when you go to purchase wire, the two most common types, like we have here, is a Hobart ER4043 and a Hobart ER5356. Those cover a wide variety of base materials that you can weld, but the first thing you'll want to do is find out what that base material is. And then, if you can't figure it out for yourself, you can check with the sales clerk and see which one of these wires would be best to weld with. Now what we need to do is load this spool into the gun. So the first thing we need to do is remove the spool hub. And we'll take the nozzle off. And the tip. And we'll grab our wire. And we're going to want to cut this end off here. And then what I typically do is straighten the wire out about six or seven inches off the hub, feed it through the guide until it touches the drive rolls. Once it touches the drive rolls, pull the trigger. It's gonna pull that wire through and drop your spool down on the hub and put a little tension on it. Now tap the trigger a couple times and feed the wire through about an inch and take your tip and put your tip on. And we'll get the nozzle back on. And lastly, the spool hub cover. And we are done with that. So the next thing we're going to do is get our material ready to prep. Here I have my dedicated aluminum only stainless steel brush, which you'll want to do so you don't contaminate your material. And then you can use either acetone or some other degreaser that'll evaporate right away for the cleaning. Now when using the brush, there's going to be an oxide layer on the aluminum. You're gonna to wanna to take that off with the brush. When you first start to scrape, it's going to feel a little bit uh, slippery almost. And as you wear through that oxide layer, you're gonna to start to feel some resistance. It's not much, but just a little bit. So we'll get the other piece cleaned here. Once you feel that resistance, you, you can stop. There's no need to clean anymore. You take a clean towel, and like I said, either the acetone or a degreaser, and wipe your material. Now you're going to to wanna use your brush first because what this will also do is pick up those tiny pieces that you just went through the oxide layer with and any small residue that's there, this will take off. Okay. I'm gonna set this up into a T-joint. Always read and follow all labels and the owner's manual. These tips should help you get started. With a little practice, you'll master big welding aluminum in no time.